Hello! If you have been following my Instagram story in the past week, you would know that this is the first week of Fan Bitch's musical mushrooming. A weekly segment where I get the first 25 albums suggested by you, put them into a hat, draw two of them out, and listen to them over the course of the week. I also select one more album from the entire list of my choosing. And it has come to the end of my first week which means it is time for a review on each one. The first randomised album this week is Hours by Funeral for a Friend. I don't actually have a lot to say about this album. I thought that it was a little bit boring to be honest, but not to say that it was bad. There was just not that much standing out to me. It was just chorus versus, chorus versus, vice versa. Get it? Which is fine, but I'm looking for something that, you know, catches you off guard, gets your attention. Maybe a bit of fucking some breakdowns or a bit of variation in the vocals. There was a bit of variation in the vocals on one of the songs called The End of Nothing, where it goes a bit fucking low. And not that I don't like this genre of music. There is other bands that I do listen to that are post-hardcore, or at least considered to be post-hardcore. It's so fucking difficult to keep up with all the fucking subgenres. But that was the only bit where I was like, hmm, this song's a bit different to the rest of them. And though I thought that it was a little bit bland, the more that I listened to it, the more I did like it. So basically, I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. So I'm gonna give it a sickus out of ten. The second randomised choice this week was the Wonton Bishop's album Sleep With The Lights On. I don't know about you, but I usually find it easier to sleep with them off. These guys are a blues rock band from Beirut in Lebanon. Let us pray they are alive and well. This album is a first for me. I have never actually sat down and listened to a blues rock album before. And you know what? While I was listening to it, I was like, I can fucking get down with this shit. It was actually really good. With a lot of the songs from the album with really catchy fucking riffs. Catchy songs that stick in your fucking brain. There's even a bit in the song Sun Rising where he drops a harmonica solo. For the most part, I really enjoyed this album. And it will be the first artist from this particular genre that will be added into my personal playlist. I give it an 8 out of 10. The third and final album, which is the one that I selected from the overall list this week, is Abbey Road by The Beatles. Now, the first thing that I thought when I heard this band was, It's the devil's music! And then I hopped in my time machine from the 60s to 2020 and realised that there is bands that are far more devilish. Of course, this was going to be a fantastic album. I mean, it's The Beatles, considered to be one of the greatest bands possibly of all time. And yes, there was obviously some songs on this album that I have heard previously, but I can't help but think some of these songs have underlying meanings. I mean, come together, right now, over me. What could that possibly mean? And here comes the come. Do, 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 do. It's all white. That's how the song goes, isn't it? And about halfway through this album, the song started doing that thing where they roll into each other and you don't actually know if the song's changed or not, which I think is a really cool thing to listen to when you're listening through an album. This album also taught me that apparently octopuses live in gardens underneath the sea and they're warm and they're safe and there's a lot of shade there. I guess you learn something new every day. Thanks, Ringo! And I give it an 8.5. Lastly, thank you for watching, and if you would like to suggest an album to me for next week, jump on my Instagram page, follow my Instagram, F-E-N-B-I-S-H, Fenbish, Easy as Piss, and uh, when I put up my story to ask for the suggestions, put your suggestion in there, and then hopefully it's in the first 25, and even if it's not, if it's in the full list, I might choose it anyway, so do it! Here comes the sun.